YouTubers, Gaster Dave here. I uh, haven't been able to go out into the shop. I've been pretty busy doing other things. Uh, first off, let me say um, I am a Ravens fan, so I'm not going to apologize for that. But however, I do apologize for not being out in the shop and uh, doing any updated videos. So what I have now is an older video I made on uh, my last car I owned, which is a 1969 AMC SC Rambler. So I'm going to give you a tour of that. So stay tuned. Here's my SC Rambler. It's a nice day today. Thought I'd take some pictures of it. I never had it on video yet. That's what it looks like. There's the big hood scoop. The big 390 sticker. Part that denotes it is an SC Rambler right there. The new paint job. Looks like some mirrors. My interior I redid. The original headrests. The Hearst SC Rambler in the back. Hard to get it all in one shot here. Those are the one-off mirrors only on the SC Rambler. If I can do this one handed, there's looking down the carb. There's with the hood open. Notice that's a working hood scoop. There's my engine. The dual carbs. The other side of the engine with all the wiring and stainless. It's a Offenhauser. This is the same as the manifold, very rare. I'm going to open up the trunk and show you the work I did in the trunk. It's messy because I carry all my stuff in there. There's the trunk. Notice over here I had the battery. Also a cutoff switch right there. It allows me to turn on and off the battery to the car. I'll show you what's in this box right there as soon as I get it out. Okay, this is what was in the box. It's called a storyboard. You put it up front of your car for the shows, for the judges, so they can look at it. And tell you about, tells about your car. Okay, it should be pretty cold blooded because I haven't started it in a while. Let's see if it'll turn over. My air, I have the heater on. There we go. Gotta rev it up a little bit, let it idle. All my 
my gauges. These are my three gauges that show all the information for the engine. There's my oil pressure. Notice that's pretty good. My ammeters. Of course, the other one is water, which is hard to see right now. There it is a little bit, but it's still cold out. I also rebuilt this engine myself. Let's get out and hear it. It idles at about a thousand when it's warm. There it is, idling away. Let's close the door. That's what it sounds like. Those are the original rims. And that's the paint job. Along the side, notice that they also go inside the wheel well. The stripes do. I had them put on those original striping. The car. And again, inside the wheel well on the front, and inside the wheel well on the rear. There's the engine running. It puts a pretty good uh, sound to it. Let's see if I can rev this thing a little bit without blowing myself up. I'm barely touching it. It's got a lot of power. Let me go back and I'll show you this side. There's the exhaust coming out the side. Around back. This side, one thing I need to get is bumpers still. I need to fill in my bumpers. Notice again, the original rim. You notice again how it runs this side a little well, the paint. Very loud. Stripe runs all the way down the body again. Those are original rims. Inside the wheel well again, the paint. I wanted to make sure it ran inside. Give it a custom look. Again, the front. All done up. It's moving a little bit shaken. Shaken, not stirred, as I say. If you look. That's a Hearst shifter, original. And it says it on the name too, Hearst. All this car came with was an AM radio as an option. Everything else you see in this car was how it came from the factory. In the back seat, pretty much nondescript, nothing too cool in the back seat. Just your door panels. And unique to Scrambler is that sail panel with the light inside the sail panel. And again, notice I have the red, white, and blue in the ceiling overhead. Don't get dizzy. I carried out the theme by my dice. I'm letting it run a while just to get it warmed up. Those lights in the back are just reflectors. The taillights are blacked out as is the whole panel in the back. Again, I've been hand painted. That SC Hearst emblem was hand painted by me. And then it says Rambler with the red, white, and blue there too. It's a black panel. Notice how shiny it is. You can see my reflection. There's a blacked out taillight again. I also have a lot of the original decals. This one says caution, equipped with a locking differential. And I also have the original 
jacking instructions on the car that I found. So that's a nice piece. That's a rare piece of chrome right there on the windshield. You lose that, you don't find it, it only came on this car. And those uh, mirrors only came on the SD Rambler. They came on nothing else but the Rambler. Oh, and also a Hearst Oldsmobile, same year. Bullet mirrors, very rare, very rare. Probably the rarest part on this car is those mirrors. I also got all new windshield wipers. And what's also rare is that little piece right there, and that washes your windshield, that's rare. Notice the hood scoop. Notice as I give it the gap, what that hood scoop does, it should open up. There you go, you see it open up. I have a complete MSD ignition. That's the MSD distributor, a billet aluminum distributor. They just made those recently. And an MSD box, 6AL box. That controls my spark. And it also controls my rev. I can only go so far in the rev, so it won't allow my engine to blow. I also have k and air filters, two of them. I also run nothing but k and oil filters. Notice I have a lot of the original badge in here too. That tells about the emissions. And over there tells the weatherized system. The heater stuff. On the front of the car, the radiator area, I have the original gas, the cap, I mean. And also, in another detail, it tells how cold it is and what to do with it. What came in the glove box on these cars was two stickers. One sticker was the thrush, because that's what type muffler you had. The other one tells all about the car for how much the tire pressure is. You'll also see that I have an original owner's manual. So I have an owner's manual for this car as well. So all in all, it's a pretty fancy car. Let me back up. Let me close it down, take one last picture. Okay, it's closed down. This is the trunk lid. Let's see how good my reflection is in it. That's a cloudy day, so it's hard to see. But you can see the good paint job off the reflection of the house. You can see the roof of it reflecting. So it's a heck of a good paint job. For a very cheap price, because I did all the work myself and did all the body work on this car myself. So let me stand out and take a picture and show what it looks like again one more time with it running and there it is. That is my SC Rambler that I built by myself, put all the work into this past last five years. Now I get to enjoy some of the fruits of the labor. I will get the seats recovered and that's about it. Well, there you go, YouTubers. Uh, thank you for watching my short video. Uh, I guess it's a long video of my SC Rambler. And uh, I'll be getting back in the shop soon. And we'll do some more work on the 57 Chevy Gasser. Until then, please like and subscribe. And keep viewing the channel. Tell your friends. Thanks a lot.